supervise your departure from the vessel, and you should look out for their guidance and instructions at all times. It would be helpful if you start your vehicle on the car deck only when instructed to do so. Please drive carefully when you exit the vessel and the terminal area. We trust you've had a pleasant journey with us, and on behalf of Calmac, thank you for travelling with us. Have a safe and comfortable journey to your destination. Hello there. Well, there's just something really nice about being on an island, and uh, I'm in Rothsey, an Isle of Butte. Just got a ferry from Weems Bay. Um, I'm doing about 11 miles. It's a kind of um, partly on the West Island Way. Uh, I've done another couple of videos on sections of the West Island Way, which is a long distance walk on the island of Butte. Uh, I've done a part on the uh, north of the island and a, a part on the, the south of the island. I'm not doing the whole bit in the middle of the island. What I'm doing is I'm just going to head up the high street, um, take a right hand turn. It. Eventually I'm going to pick up the West Island Way, uh, follow it for just a few miles, and then I'm going to leave it, head for Mount Stewart then the coast and uh, make my way back to Rossi. Um, I mean, we've got an absolutely cracking day, you know, I'm really looking forward to this. Why would you want to go abroad when you've got stuff like this? It's absolutely stunning. So let's just get on our way. squeaking. It, it's pretty annoying having a rucksack that squeaks, to be honest. <laughs> this is my old rucksack. I thought it was past its best, but I've kind of rejuvenated it, if that's the word. I kind of cleaned it out of old dead leaves and stuff like that. Uh, and it's just a job. I don't need to buy another rucksack. This will do. If anybody's got any tips on how to stop your rucksack squeaking, by all means drop me a comment. 
I'm not going to be able to do any sneaking when I'm wearing this. So, um, come out of Rossi up by, at the side of Rossi Castle, which has been closed for quite a while. I think they're doing some sort of masonry work. It's been closed for that long. I strongly suspect they're rebuilding the whole castle. Um, so, we've come along a kind of um, quite pleasant narrow road there, the odd car, and um, picking up this track here. which will take me between Kirk Dam and Loch Fad. And uh, then we'll shortly be on a kind of uh, a moor that says on the map, Scoutag Moor Butts. Must be some shooting goes on up there. So um, without further ado, if you can put up with all this squeaking noise, we'll, uh, we'll be on our way. It's an absolutely beautiful day. I wish I had composed that song, Beautiful Day. It's a lovely song too. Um, so I'm just going to stop for lunch here. I've got a corner pasty out of, um, I think it's Electric Bakery or something like that in Rossi. Um,
I'll eat that after a wee chat. Um, they're really meant to be eaten, sort of warmed up. Now the whole thing about a Cornish pasta is I think they were originally developed so you could carry them about, you know, it's a thick pastry, you can carry it about all day when you're working and have it for your lunch. So it's thick pastry, when it's cold it takes a bit of getting through. So as I say, I'll have it after my chat. Um, I'm on a kind of upper moor here, straight track, and I noticed the sign just behind me there, pointing towards Mount Stewart, uh, yeah, Mount Stewart uh, Visitor Centre, which is where I'm going to, I will be passing there later on. Um, but I thought, that's interesting, I could just go this way then. But on looking at the path, it's a very, it's a narrow footpath and it, it it appears to go through an area that um, was once woodland that's now all been felled and just on past experience I know that these sort of areas can at times be a nightmare trying to get through. I presume the path's not too bad but I, I'm, I'm not going to risk it so I'm just going to continue on the, the way I had intended to go and I'll, I'll come to the Mount Stewart uh, castle or house or whatever it is uh, later on. I made a mistake back there. Um, just after the, that big lock with great views towards Arden, absolutely stunning. Um, you uh, pick up a farm track, and then immediately after some like a steading of some sort, you, you the, the West Island Way leaves that farm track, and for some reason. I missed that turn off. God knows how I managed to miss it, but there we go. When you're on long distance walks, you will make mistakes. It's just par for the course. Mistakes happen. That's why it's important to have a map and compass with you to know how to correct these mistakes or to even know when you've made a mistake. I knew because I, I kind of, I mean, the whole thing about having a map is that you're constantly referring to it so that you know what's going to be coming up and how long it might take you to get there. And that way you can handle on what's going on. Um, so I, I knew that I, I should have left that farm track. I'd come too far and I thought, I must have missed the turn off there. I wasn't sure how far I'd come past it. I thought, OK, I'll just continue on this farm track because I knew it would be up the road and I would come back on that road and p pick up where the West Island Way comes out. It added an extra mile to my journey, but I did in the end correct that error. So I always have a, a map with you, it's, it, it's crucial, you know. Oh, first shirt sleeves day of the year. <laughs> so good to get out. The um, it, I was thinking recently that during the pandemic, um, at the height of the pandemic, there was just over a thousand people a day dying in the UK alone from COVID. Um, so it was all very scary. You couldn't get out. Streets were deserted. We all know how it was. And I, I would listen to the BBC Radio Scotland for a wee bit of comfort and an update on what was going on, etc, etc. And there's a BBC Radio Scotland a weather presenter, I think her name is Joy. Lovely, lovely lassie. But, <laughs> but, um, during the pandemic she would come on the radio and she would start off every uh, weather forecast with the words, Good morning. And she said it almost exactly like that. Good morning. 
And it used to scare me witless. I thought, what the heck is going on here? I'm looking for a bit of comfort. And it sounds as if there's a voice on the radio that sounds as if it's out of a Resident Evil computer game. Good morning. <laughs> what? <laughs> um, but she doesn't, she doesn't say it like that anymore. <laughs> I don't know whether somebody told her or said, try and say it better than that. Try and lighten it up a bit. Don't scare people. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to eat this, uh, this brick of a thing. <laughs> It's absolutely solid. I could assault somebody without be hitting them with it. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, and I'm also kind of a little bit wary of how much life my battery's got left in it. These are repla it's a replacement battery for this uh, camera. It's not the proper batteries. And as such, it doesn't give you any kind of warning. And if it, the battery runs out, it doesn't save any footage. And you just lose all the footage that you've taken. So I don't want to uh, do too long a, a take here. Uh, and I'll pick you up um, later on in this part. Oh. Five out of ten. Well, I'll have to stop starting every piece of camera with the word well. <laughs> Mount Stuart, um, I'll need to put a day aside, I think, for visiting it on its own because it's um, absolutely stunning. The building is architecturally uh, pretty magnificent from the outside. I, I can't even begin to think what it's like inside. And, uh, it's in quite uh, magical uh, grounds around it. Beautiful. Uh, I can't uh, get the way that I had originally intended. Uh, my original plan had been to pass the house, come through the estate and go down this way, which is, I think this is Lime Avenue or Lime Tree Avenue, it's Lime Trees. I wonder if you get limes off them. Do you get limes off lime trees? They look too big to get, to, for that sort of thing. They don't look like fruit trees. 
Anyway, um, yeah, I can't go this way because there is apparently, and it's just as well I popped into the visitor centre, there's some sort of, uh, there's a bit uh, fenced off with no access whatsoever because of some sort of uh, plant disease. I can't remember exactly what he said. I think it may be merodidendrums or something, some kind of plant disease. Um, so I, I, I'm going to have to just um, stay away from the shore and I'll kind of make my way back to Rossi through the woods here and onto the road and, and such like. Bit of a shame, but there you go. Um, it seems that everything in the world is getting a disease these days. Birds are suffering really badly just now. We've just surfaced from Covid. And now plants are getting a disease. It's like the whole world is somehow in its last legs. And I sometimes wonder if that is the case. I sometimes think that we're all, that the whole world is wondering at the moment what a nuclear war will be like and whether we will survive it. Because it kind of feels as if that's the way we're going. I very much hope we're not going that way, but sometimes you get the feeling that that's how things could pan out here. And uh, I suppose the answer is we probably, the world would never be the same again if... Uh, the East and the West started uh, firing nuclear warheads at each other. The, the world would just not be the same. I don't know if we'd survive. I thought I'd get a warning system being set up for all smartphones. I think it's going to be tested later this month. That's, in effect, a modern version of the four-minute warning. And you hide under a table or something like that. I don't have a smartphone, so I'll be none the wiser if it does all kick off. Anyway, let's not get too depressed here. Um, I'll wait away through the woods here uh, on a road and hopefully we'll get some kind of nice views just uh, as we approach Rossi and I'll finish the video off there. Well, that's me back in Rossi, and um, that's the castle behind me. It's been a great walk, thoroughly enjoyed it. And I keep discovering things about my old rucksack here that uh, I'd perhaps forgotten about. Uh, these, for example. The only thing I can think that you would use them for is to rest your thumbs. Thumb rests. Don't know if you can see that. I mean, to be honest, I can't really imagine this sort of situation where uh, your thumbs would become so exhausted that they needed a wee rest, you know. But nevertheless, that's, I think that's what they are. As I think I perhaps said at the beginning of the video, why would you want to go abroad when you've got all this? It's, you just can't beat a, a jaunt on a ferry uh, to an island. Uh, in this case, it's the island of Butte. Absolutely cracking. I'm Eddie Burns. Take care.